version of one of the brands is hitting the market. ZepBound, the weight loss drug made by pharmaceutical company Eli Lilly, is now available direct to consumer with a doctor's prescription. The drug maker cutting out a visit to a pharmacy, instead offering its Lilly direct service to patients with a phone at a savings of about 50% off. 349 for the low dose and uh, 549 for the high dose. CEO Dave Ricks on Good Morning America announcing patients will have to use a separate syringe, different from competitors like Ozempic and Wagovi that use auto injectors at a higher price. Derek Dennis, ABC News. Elvis's bling is hitting the auction block. We'll tell you about that after traffic and weather in just a moment. Wins News Time 551. Time now for expanded traffic, including the Hatfield Transit Desk. Here's Greg Rice. Well, it has been a trying night on New Jersey Transit. It's been a trying day as well. 30-minute delays in and out of New York Penn Station because of the earlier Amtrak maintenance in one of the Hudson River tunnels. I don't think you care whose fault it is. You want to go home. New Jersey Transit isn't being that easy. L and N subways have delays. L and N for the most part is on or close. You still have the buses and the trains on the Metro North Waterbury line on the New Haven branch. Everything else is in pretty decent shape. Now, how badly do you want to see the tennis tonight? Because they're going to make you earn it. Looks like a three-car wreck on the eastbound Grand Central right in front of the National Tennis Center, and that's going to take a bad ride and make it worse on the eastbound Grand Central from the BQE. Southbound Whitestone Van Wick combination already credited to the Stay National connected. Tennis Center Stay from involved. Linden Place Download on news down break. Queensbound Gateway, Whitestone Extra Slow as well. Sports, and 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 if you're not head to the National Tennis Center, here's what you need to know about the bridges and tunnels. Citybound George, pretty good to the upper and lower. Outbound lower level closer to Jersey. They got rid of a crash, but you still want the outbound upper level. Westbound Cross Bronx, the worst of it. You're not moving from Rosedale Avenue and out of Manhattan. The northbound of Harlem River Drive getting worse from the 130s on up. West side slow, but moving from the 80s, and that's the much better play out of Manhattan. Back to the outbound George. I'm Greg Rice, 1010 wins on 92.3 FM. Now the AccuWeather four-day forecast. Here is meteorologist Brian Thompson. Loria will be a clear to partly cloudy night tonight. We're going to see a low around 71 degrees. Now, tomorrow, a hot, humid day after what's been a relatively comfortable day today. We are going to see the humidity step up a little bit more tomorrow. It's going to be a brief surge of heat ahead of an approaching cold front that will be dropping down from the north. Clouds and sun, and there can be a heavy, gusty thunderstorm in spots during the afternoon. High 93. Real field temps will be approaching 100 in the afternoon. Partly cloudy nights with a thunderstorm morality, which could be low 69. And then as we head into Thursday, we'll be much cooler and less humid behind that front. Like uh, mostly cloudy sky. There could be a shower in spots in the city, a high 66. Up sunny for Friday, a high 77. Looks like we'll potentially have another one of some thunderstorms into Saturday, and then it will try to dry out. The humidity should eventually work on Sunday, especially into Labor Day. Right now, 82 down degrees with a sun sky. Like now we're going down to 71. I'm Aki with the meteorologist Brian Thompson on New York's weather station. 1010 winds on 92.3 FM. Winds News Time 554. You can rock some of Elvis's rock. If you have the winning bid. From Ring Zone by Elvis Presley. Two letter handwritten from one beach boy to another. Ring Cruise GWS Auctions says there are some pretty powerful pieces up for grabs. A piece of leather and a folder. The online auction will be live streamed this Saturday. Correspondent Stacy Lynn. The Israeli Antiquities Authority says 2,000 year old tombs with magnificent wall paintings will be open to the public for the first time after a painstaking conservation process. British archaeologists first discover the two sand-filled tombs back in the 1930s. The tombs were likely the burial ground for aristocratic Romans when Eglon was a Roman city. For nearly a century, the site was dormant and closed to the public to protect the paintings. A King's Island Gold Pass is your ticket to unlimited visits this year and all through 2025. Make a park your own with access to two years of trick and treats, Halloween haunt, and Winterfest. Plus an expanded Soak City featuring the all-new dual racing water coaster River Racers. Come in 2025. All for our lowest price of the season. Just 10 payments of $9 after a middle payment plus applicable taxes and fees. Hurry, price goes up September 3rd. Get your Gold Pass at visitkingsisland.com. 
Our lives aren't like they used to be. They're busier. Early morning Zooms, grabbing coffee to make that in-office meeting, getting to your kid's soccer game on time. Life is different, and so is advertising. To reach any audience, you need your message out there in all media, broadcast to streaming, on screens, and right to the ears of your customers. And that's what we do at Odyssey. Let's build a media campaign that targets the customers you know and want to reach more of. Right here in our community. Advertise with Odyssey. Visit ads.odyssey.com. Thinking about joining the Department of Corrections. I truly feel that I should have made this decision 10 years ago. High paying and rewarding. Did you know that the base salary is $101,590 after the first five and a half years? Jobs are available now. Search the words city exams on your phone, click, then scroll to correction officer. Register today to take the test. Join Wins News Time 556. Now, Bloomberg Money Watch. The Voice of America will sell its 321 piece art collection. One that includes Norman Rockwell paintings. The Wall Street Journal says the sale is to raise money to compensate sex abuse survivors. The first auction will take place in November. There will be a preview in New York leading up to the sale. It took till the final moments of trading, but traders did manage to squeeze a new record close from the Dow with a gain of 10 points to 41 to 51. The Nasdaq rose 29, the S&P 9. Investors want to see Nvidia's books. They want to get a sense of direction to see if the big investment in artificial intelligence will pay off. There's something that might not pay off, getting cash back on your credit or debit card at certain stores. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau says three big retailers charge you more than $90 million a year thanks to fees they slap on dollar general dollar tree and kroger stores all use the charges which the bureau says cost merchants only a few pennies bloomberg money watch at 26 and 56 past every hour i'm joan doniger for 1010 wins on 92.3 fm hey fantasy football fans this is faraz from upper hand fantasy we're here five times a week to get you ready for your fantasy football drafts with top-notch insights get the upper hand on your fantasy football season Follow and listen to Upper Hand Fantasy on the free Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts. Wins News Time 557. Diabetes, high blood pressure, anxiety meds, everyone's on them. If you're a 50-year-old male, maybe a bit porky, and you may even have type 2 diabetes, a million dollars of term insurance may only cost you about 200 bucks a month. Call Term Provider. Speak with Big Lou at 800-777-1979. Big Lou will find a term life policy for you even if you have type 2 diabetes or overweight or have high blood pressure. Term providers help thousands of people like you who think they can't afford term life insurance. To buy million dollars of affordable term life for you, all you need to do is call Big Lou at 800-777-1979. Lou will make sure the scales are tipped in your favor. Call 800-777-1979. Big Lou will answer your call from and work to school. fit you into a term life you can afford. But I Remember, Big Lou's the support you can too. Call 800-777-1979. 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 Call 800-777-1979.
He agreed to the terms of debating Vice President Kamala Harris in a couple of weeks. But now Donald Trump might also have to deal with another court case. Indicted again by the special prosecutor over the Denver riots. And this time, that myth tiptoed around the Supreme Court's immunity rail. Back here, you can tell many me and many motor relax tonight. The mayor isn't taking away their cell phones after all. It's been a talk of cell phone ban in schools like they do in L.A. But mayor Adams says, well, we still have some things to work out, so we'll put it on hold for now. No pun intended. A former federal corrections officer facing jail time of her own and a big fine after she allegedly smuggled cell phone chargers into the jail to help inmates conduct business on the outside. A rescue in Patch Hog after a man's pooch decided to take a little swim in the wee hours of the morning and the pet owner's effort to fish him out didn't go so well. But alas, a pair of heroes saved the day. And deep in the heart of Texas, dude, you had one job to put a picture of Dallas on a Dallas brochure. Guess what? Yeah, and worse yet, it was a picture of Dallas's biggest rival city. <laughs> Golly. AccuWeather says clear to partly cloudy skies tonight. Drop down low of 71. When's news time 601? And from MercedesBenzMedicine.com track center, we've got expanded track. Greg Rice. Now we go back to New Jersey where Route 3 westbound still crowded, but getting better over the western spur. They've reopened all lanes and gotten rid of that crash. Southbound eastern spur, a mess south of Route 3, coming down towards Secaucus Junction. So stay with the southbound western spur of the New Jersey. Park Dead. Garden State Parkway northbound, the worst bit out of the Union Tolls up to exit 145. And here's what you need to know about the bridges and tunnels. Citybound George, good enough to the upper lower. Southbound Henry Hudson Parkway, northbound West Side Highway. Those are in good shape. Cross Bronx, awful. From Rosedale Avenue to the George, it's the worst way out of town. Lincoln's about 10 minutes in. Outbound Lincoln, no more than about 15 minutes. Holland Tunnel, 15 out. But the outbound covered roadway and inbound Skyway are awful. Newark Bay, much better play either way. You've got the Whitestone Bridge, Queensbound, extra crowded. And then all roads to the National Tennis Center, already a mess in advance of tonight's evening session over at the U.S. Open. LIRR is on or closed. New Jersey Transit isn't. We still have 30 minutes delays in and out of New York Penn Station because of earlier Amtrak maintenance that left a whole lot of trouble behind. Now the Odyssey Lottery recap presented by Jack Pocket. Powerball is now $54 million and Mega Millions is now $582 million. Order official state lottery games on your phone must be 18 or older to play. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem and wants help, call one 877 hope ny I'm Greg Rice, 1010 Wins on 92.3 FM. We have a very nice evening ahead of us, folks, but AccuWeather says tomorrow night, not so much. we got rain and humidity coming off a day that'll see a 90-degree-plus temperature. AccuWeather meteorologist Brian Thompson in the Weather Center now with what we can expect in the next 24 to 48. Brian? Yeah, Larry, uh, the good news is, unlike other parts of the country, we're just going to get a very brief surge of this heat and humidity. It's just going to be a one-day affair tomorrow with the high temperature around 93. Accurate with the real field temperatures approaching 100 in the afternoon. Now, as a cold front drops down from the north, we could see a heavy, gusty thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon and again tomorrow night. And then once that front is through, some big changes. going to turn much cooler again by Thursday. Highs back into the 70s by Thursday and Friday. Larry? Thank you, Brian. And this hour begins with... Some big changes. Going to turn much cooler again by Thursday. Highs back into the 70s by Thursday and Friday. Larry? Thank you, Brian. And this hour begins with a big story out of Washington. You've been hearing here on 1010. Economy, As he continues his quest to and occupy the office, looks like for President Donald Trump off the hook yet. With January 6th... Some big changes going to be Thursday high back in the 70s by Thursday. Brian. Larry? Thank you, Brian. And the hour begins with a big story of Washington. You've been here on 1010. Let's quest to once again the Oval Office. Looks like Donald Trump isn't off the hook yet. The January 6th riot case. Jeffrey Clark as a co-conspirator in the case. Clark was a Justice Department official who championed Trump's false claims of election fraud. This new indictment still alleges Trump tried to pressure his vice president to refuse to certify the results of the election. Actions that led to the January 6th insurrection. So far. Far tonight, no word from the Trump campaign or Truth Social. Stay tuned, everybody. Back here, we've been talking about that brazen carjacking yesterday in Brooklyn where it wasn't enough for these guys to take the guy's money, his iPhone, and his car. They had to take it to the next level. This happened about 2 p.m. Four guys pulled up in a blue minivan near Avenue A and East 91st Street in East Bush. They hear two out of the van, rushed the victim's car, beat him in the head in his left temple with a gun, and then took his phone and about $2,000 cash. Two of them drove off in his 2005 Toyota SUV. The others drove off in the van. The victim taken to the hospital for treatment. They are trying to catch these guys. Still no arrest tonight, though. Of course, if cops come up with uh, pictures of these suspects, we'll put them up on our website. Also tonight, the kids can rest easy. They get to keep their cell phones in school for now. 
They held a big meeting today to talk about a cell phone ban, but it looks like you're spared for now. I keep stressing for now because it isn't over yet. Just don't put away anything and don't put your phone on hold, anybody. Juliet Papa tonight. Mayor Adams says he's still working with the school's chancellor on how, when, if students will have access to their phones in schools. Speaking with reporters in the Blue Room. Our desire is that we should not have any distractions in our schools and the number one distraction, not only uh, to... Uh, students, but even as I look around the room, some of you are deep in your phones. We are hooked on our phones. He says there's big bait and controversy regarding a full ban. We've been doing a lot of reviews. What are the best practices? How could it be done? Says he wants a policy in place that he doesn't have to walk back. Julia Baba, 10 10 wins on 92.3 FM. A former federal corrections officer pleaded guilty today to sneaking her cell phone chargers and other contraband into the Metro Detention Center. Fabian Osias used to work for the Bureau of Prisons in Brooklyn, facing up to a year in prison now. Authorities say she abused her position of trust by allegedly smuggling phone charges into the jail, investigators say, which enable uh, federal inmates to keep on committing crimes. This stems back to an incident in February 2023 where they say the officer attempted to provide an inmate at the jail some USB charging cables, plus other things necessary to keep their phones juiced. That is a no-no. Accu weather says tonight clear to partly cloudy and sticky with a low of 71 degrees. Tomorrow, hot and humid with clouds and sunshine. A strong thunderstorm or two around in the afternoon and evening will get to a high of 93. Right now, 82 degrees in Central Park. Wednesday news time, 607. From downtown, there's talk to a uh, plan, at least, to put the park back into Park Avenue. As four lanes of traffic whizzed by, the city's Department of Transportation Commissioner Idanis Rodriguez kicked off the search for a firm to redesign Park Avenue's medians. We want to redefine the iconic Park Avenue as a greener, safer, and more welcoming corridor for all New Yorkers. The work above ground would be done in stages as the MTA installs a new train shed underground. City Councilman Keith Powers said the pandemic unleashed a new demand for outdoor public space. We are trying our best to make sure people are visiting Park Avenue and the people that are coming to work have a space to enjoy. The redesign plan stretches 11 blocks from East 46th Street to East 57th. Marla Diamond, 1010 wins on 92.3 FM. And a local funeral home on the hook for 700 k to go to families they allegedly preyed upon. The R.G. Ortiz Funeral Home, which is a funeral home chain, mostly popular among Spanish-speaking New Yorkers, agreed to the terms as restitution. It covers several penalties after the city says the funeral home took advantage of grieving families. Specifically, it says they refused to tell customers where their loved ones' remains you were, he misled them school. on pricing, her old failed school. to provide the services lost, customers paid for. Top one, ten, 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 and then so. Somewhere in Texas, there's a PR guy taking a real good look at himself in the mirror and wondering why, why he had one job to put a picture of Dallas on a brochure in an ad designed to attract candidates for a pretty big time job in Big D. But something happened between posting a picture of Dallas on the front of the cover and another big city, which somebody noticed the difference. Bruh, you had one job. Look at yourself. I'll have details when the news continues on 1010 Wins. Wins News Time, 609. A Kings Island Gold Pass is your ticket to unlimited visits this year and all through 2025. Make the park your own with access to two years of tricks and treats, Halloween Haunt, and Winterfest, plus an expanded Soak City featuring the all-new dual racing water coaster River Racers coming in 2025, all for our lowest price of the season. Just 10 payments, $9 after initial payment, plus applicable taxes and fees. Hurry, price goes up September 3rd. Get your Gold Pass at visitkingsisland.com. Hey, fantasy football owners, I'm Matt Harmon. And what's cracking up, James Coe? Join us on Reception Perception as we dive deep into wide receivers, the position that will make or break your fantasy team. Follow and listen to Reception Perception on the free Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts. Tommy! I can't wait for golf this weekend, huh, buddy? Time flies. Love you, man. Oh, don't forget your knee brace again. We aren't in college anymore. Moments together matter. So help protect yourself from RSV. If you're 75 or older or 60 plus with a chronic condition like asthma, COPD, heart disease, or severe diabetes, you're at higher risk of landing in the hospital from RSV. And there are no prescription RSV treatments. Check eligibility and schedule your RSV vaccine at VaxAssist.com. Sponsored by Pfizer. 
Hi, I'm Kamika, the founder of Miko's Hot Chicken. When we started our family restaurant, we were also raising a family. But let me tell you, it wasn't easy. Our Chase Inc. card was there to reward us on all of our business needs. Now we have a thriving location, and we're hunt more. With the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited card, you can earn unlimited 1.5% cash back on every purchase, so your business can go from here to possible. Chase for business. Make more with yours. Real business owners compensated for their participation. Cards issued by J.P. Morgan Chase Bank and a member of FDIC. Subject to credit approval. Terms apply. Now this message, don't just live with foot pain. Find the Good Feet store nearest you at goodfeet.com. When's news time 610? Traffic and AccuWeather is next. Our lives aren't like they used to be. They're busier. Early morning Zooms, grabbing coffee to make that in-office meeting, getting to your kid's soccer game on time. Life is different, and so is advertising. To reach any audience, you need your message out there in all media, broadcast to streaming, on screens, and right to the ears of your customers. And that's what we do at Odyssey. Let's build a media campaign that targets the customers you know and want to reach more of right here in our community. Advertise with Odyssey. Visit ads.odyssey.com. Com. All right, Wins and 880 family, we fooled around and made it through a Tuesday. Now let's head for the house. Wins News Time 611 and from your Mercedes Benz and Madison.com traffic center now. Here's Greg Rice. Well, we'll start with the transit this go around because New Jersey transit is not worth what they're charging this week and they've waived all fares. You've got 30 minute delays in and out of New York Penn Station. That is all because of the ongoing delays following Amtrak, uh, Amtrak track maintenance earlier this afternoon. So, still throughout rush hour, 30 minute delays on New Jersey transit in and out of New York Penn Station. You've got the National National Tennis Center with the U.S. Open night session tonight, and you've got a mess getting there. Eastbound Grand Central, awful from the BQE, and they're Inflation getting rid of a Grand, Grand Central East like right in front of the National, the National Tennis Center. Center. Southbound Whitestone Van Wick combination is all jammed up Whitestone Bridge all the way down towards the Tennis Center. Clear through the Rod combination, better idea. Here's what you need to know about the bridges and tunnels. Citybound George, extra few on the upper lowers, better. The northbound West Side Highway, slow but moving out of the 70s. Deal with that instead of the Harlem River Drive, which just doesn't move from the 130s. Cross Bronx, also a virtual standstill from White Plains Road now, all the way to the George. Lincoln's an extra 20 minutes in. Outbound side of the Lincoln Tunnel, no more than a few minutes. Outbound side of the Holland, about an extra 10 minutes. Outbound covered roadway and inbound Skyway or parking lots. Newark Bay Extension does better. Traffic is sponsored by PiloFix.com. If you suffer from pilonidal disease, there is now a solution. Dr. Samuel Rafa Love at Pilonidal Fix in New Jersey offers multiple treatments to safely and effectively eliminate the symptoms of pilonidal disease. This is the answer you've been waiting for. Go to pilofix.com for info. That's pilofix.com. I'm Greg Rice, 1010 Wins on 92.3 FM. And now your 1010 Wins AccuWeather 4-Day Forecast. Meteorologist Brian Thompson with this live report. Well, it turned out to be a pretty nice day, Larry. We had a lot of sunshine throughout the day. Uh, fairly low humidity for this time of year. Uh, we'll have a clear to partly cloudy sky tonight, low 71. But tomorrow, not going to be as nice. We will have clouds and sunshine. It's going to be a hot, humid day. High temperature up to 93. We will have to watch for a heavy, gusty thunderstorm in spots during the afternoon. And actually, the real field temperature is close to 100 tomorrow afternoon due to the higher humidity. Partly cloudy tomorrow night. So still the risk for a thunderstorm, any of which could be strong and gusty, a low of 69. And mostly cloudy, much cooler. Cooler and less humid heading into Thursday. We could see a shower in spots mainly to the south of the city. High temperature Thursday around 76. And then as we head into Friday, partly sunny. High temperature around 77 degrees. Could have another chance for some thunderstorms heading into, su- into Saturday. Right now we have a sunny sky. It's 80 degrees. A bit sound. We're going down to 71 tonight. I'm AccuWeb Meteorologist Brian Thompson on New York's Weather Station. Ten winds on 2 3 at m. Halloween when we come back. Winds news time 14. Get your laugh off me because you're going to talk to your podcast. We've got Guns and Roses Halloween. Cagan and Joe Kubik every Friday, plus real it is from the hilarious Bradley appearances by one from Gabrielle Lovey Iglesias, Dennis Miller, Cheech Marin, Kevin Nealon, if they're funny, they don't talk to Jericho. So listen to and follow Talk is Jericho now on the free Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts. MSC Cruises Labor Day Sale is here. Book now with our lowest cruise prices from $229, plus kids sale free. Discover big on a mini getaway or treat yourself to a week-long vacation. Sail to the turquoise waters of the Bahamas with stops at Ocean Key, our private island marine reserve, or experience the beauty of the Caribbean and more destinations. 
MSC Cruises for a greater beauty. To book, visit msccruises.com or contact your travel advisor. Restrictions apply. Prices based on per person and includes taxes and fees. Ships registered in Panama and Malta. Wins News Time 6:15. And out of Rome, a heck of a calling card from a crime family left in the front yard of an anti-mafia activist. The Casa Monica crime family, that's a mafia-style syndicate that operates around Rome, allegedly left a black coffin at the home of Tiziano Ronzio, Ronzio's president of an anti-mafia organization. I can't pronounce the name, I admit, and I don't want to screw it up because I don't want them to retaliate by forwarding said coffin to me. The neighborhood, by the way, is the same neighborhood where the Casa Monica family compound was based until the residence was flattened by the city a few years ago. That compound had life-sized uh, porcelain tigers used to hide cash, they say, diamond-encrusted swimming pools, golden horses, and gilded mirrored ceilings. All of it destroyed, including a big stash of heroin and cocaine. Two members were also convicted in 2022. Well, the coffin was found Sunday outside the activist's home. Ronzio called the threat stupid, saying, I'm not afraid of them, saying these gestures only make our group more determined. An early morning rescue in Patchogue today. A fellow named Ethan Bracco was crabbing at Mascot Dock when his pooch, a two-year-old pit named Brina, thought it was a good idea to take a little swim at 3.30 in the morning. Yeah. Bracco jumped in but was unable to get out of the water. We're not sure who called 911, but somebody did. And officers Kyle Prophet and Tyler Hassett, your heroes, guys, showed up on a boat and pulled them out. The owner and the dog are doing just fine. And a dog on the run for almost two years. Finally safe and off the streets. Quite an odyssey, though. The rescue pup named Gracie had only been in her new home a few days when she took off. And while volunteers like Bernice Giro from Missing Dogs, Massachusetts, tried to capture her, they were unsuccessful. I thought, okay, if we can get her to settle, this shouldn't hopefully be too bad. But that was a silly thing to think. They finally set a trap up in a backyard. And after three months, it worked. Oh, there we go, dear. Here's a good girl. After 555 days on the run, Gracie was finally brought inside. This is all new to her again. Stacy Land. Gracie says it was rough out there. Deep in the, okay, it's okay, it's almost Wednesday, okay, work with me. Deep in the heart of Texas, we got a rivalry going on. It involves the two biggest cities, Dallas and Houston, and a little bit of an oversight and some recent advertising that Dallas didn't appreciate. Will you listen to this hot mess? Dallas is searching for a new city manager and as part of the process commissioned consulting firm Baker Tilly to create a slick brochure. When city council members got the first draft, they were disappointed that the downtown beauty shot on the cover didn't include any Dallas landmarks. Someone finally realized that the beauty shot wasn't downtown Dallas at all, but downtown Houston. Dude had one job. One job. Wins News Time, 618. A Kings Island Gold Pass is your ticket to unlimited visits this year and all through 2025. Make the park your own with access to two years of tricks and treats, Halloween and Winterfest, plus an expanded Soak City featuring the all-new dual racing water coaster River Racers coming in 2025. All for our lowest price of the season. Just 10 payments of $9 after initial payment plus applicable taxes and fees. Hurry, price goes up September 3rd. Get your Gold Pass at visitkingsisland.com. Fantasy football owners, anybody can tell you what a good fantasy quarterback looks like, but it's the receivers that make or break your team. I'm Matt Harmon from Reception Perception. Join me and James Coe as we take a deep dive in the position that matters most. Wide receivers from the route trees to who plays better in man or zone. We provide the insights you need to draft the best wide receivers. As you prep for your draft, let us give you the coverage you need. Follow and listen to Reception Perception on the free Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts. Did you know your skin is the largest organ of your body? Huh? That's why you should shower with Old Spice Super Hydration Body Wash instead of plain old bar soap. <laughs> Love your skin by super hydrating it with vitamin B3 and glorious notes of vanilla and shea. Did you know that my super hydrated skin is the second largest organ of my body? The first is my heart. Old Spice. Men have skin too. Old Spice Super Hydration Body Wash. 24-7 renewing moisture. With daily use. What's better than one win? Three wins. With Straight Savings, you keep your own phone, get one line for only $25 a month with real unlimited data, and get rewarded with a $200 phone credit after 12 months. It's a win-win-win. Head to Walmart or visit straighttalk.com today. Switch to Straight Talk. Less dollars, more sense.
Straight savings plan enrollment requires compatible unlocked device and new line of service. Bonus device credit requires 12 months of active service. Offer ends of eligibility requirements are no longer met. Taxes and fees apply. For network management practices, see Straight Talk's terms and conditions. 1010 wins at 92.3 FM. We're hauling it at the speed of New York. All news, all the time. This is 1010 Wins at 92.3 FM. You give us 22 minutes, we'll give you the world. 81 and sunny at 620. I'm Larry Mullins, and here's what's happening tonight. Yeah, Special Prosecutor Jack Smith back on Donald Trump's pant leg and not letting go. He's reworked his indictment in the January 6th case, and he has refiled brand new grand jury and all. And this time, he reportedly made it Supreme Court proof. A Queens man is facing 25 years to life for rain today on charges he beat another guy to death with a chair last month. Surveillance video caught it all. A Staten Island man taking the city to court for allegedly insulting his prized possession, his Lamborghini. Says he got a ticket because the thing was too loud. He says, it was made that way. I didn't jack up the exhaust pipes to make it louder. Give me a break already. Back to Trump, he went on Truth Social today, says he has worked out an agreement now to debate Vice President Kamala Harris on September 10th, this following the controversy over whether the mics will be cut while one or the other candidate is speaking. And jurors reached a verdict today in the trial of attorney Tom Girardi, the once high-powered L.A. lawyer accused of running a 10-year Ponzi scheme that made off with millions Text of other people's money. 10 Tim Ben Zekiweather the clear department tonight, dropping down, dollars down dollars to a low of 71. Wins News Talk 620. Never and from your Mercedes-Benz event, hot traffic center. Now, Greg Ruff. Now, Mr. Trent has not been up to snuff so far this afternoon and this evening. It is not worth what you are paying on New Jersey Transit. And they have waived all fares this week. You've got 30-minute delays in and out of New York Penn Station. There was earlier Amtrak maintenance in one of the Hudson River tunnels earlier this afternoon. And we just never recovered. So New Jersey Transit, 30-minute delays in and out of New York Penn. LIRR, for the most part, is on or close. You've got the buses instead of trains on the Metro North New Haven Waterbury line because of last week's flooding. And subway delays on the EM and R lines. You've got the National Tennis Center, the epicenter of all the tennis activity tonight. With the U.S. Open night session, Grand Central either way. Queens Van Whitestone Bridge, South Van Whitestone Van Wick combination, awful into the area. Clearview Throgs Neck combination, going to be a much better bet for you at this hour. Here is what you need to know about the example. City Van George is fine. Cross Bronx, the worst of it out from White Plains Road to the George. It's just north of 5 to 10 miles an hour. North out of Harlem like River Drive, Slam from 140. West Side Highway, Slug is moving. Out of the East Side, Broadway, do better. Off of the West Side, it's clean. In Sons Park, with a whole lot of East Penny out towards the La Boulevard West. Bands jammed up from Bridge Road into East Avenue. Traffic is under by Morgan and Morgan. I read right and wins on 92 FM. Washington are going to start calling him Junkyard Dog Jack. Special Prosecutor Jack Smith has brought forward a revised indictment against Donald Trump in the federal January 6th case. Smith's team says it was voted on by a brand new grand jury that had not previously heard any evidence. Stephen Portnoy tonight with Trump's newest headache. This new indictment is clearly an effort by special counsel Jack Smith to move January 6th case to trial in light of recent approval on presidential immunity. Trump would still face the same counts of to fraud the U.S., obstruct an official proceeding, and deprive Americans of their rights to have their votes counted. But the new indictment removes previous references to steps Trump allegedly took as president, such as enlisting Justice Department officials in the effort. So far tonight, no word from the Trump campaign. Stay tuned. A Queens man back here facing 25 years to life uh, reigned today on charges. He beat another guy to death with a chair last month. 30-year-old Ramel Tedder facing several charges now, including murder and assault for the killing of 39-year-old Michael Tobon. Prosecutors say back on July 26, Tedder was caught on video hitting the victim in the head repeatedly with a chair while the guy was on the ground. And after the alleged attack, they say he covered the victim's body with a cloth and ran off, leaving the victim for dead. Tobon suffered a traumatic brain injury and skull fracture, died the next day. Tedder is due back in court on September the 17th. So you hear about that guy on Staten Island who's suing now because his $315,000 Lambo got ticketed by one of those new noise cameras. He says, you ticketed, baby? Oh, heck no. Anthony Aquilino isn't arguing about whether his Lamborghini is too loud, but he is saying he did nothing wrong when a noise camera picked him up at 92 decibels outside the Lincoln Tunnel when the limit is 85. If the car's a little loud, it's a little loud, but that's how Lamborghini designed it, and the car is six years old. So you wrote a law a year or so ago, issued it, but the car is six years old, so I, I can't do anything about it except sell the car. Which he thinks is unfair. He thinks anyone who didn't modify their car to make it louder 
shouldn't be fined. I can't change my car. So I have no way to make my car quieter. So there is no remedy to fix this. Anthony lost his appeal, so he had to pay $800, but he's still suing the city. Mac Rosenberg, 1010 wins on 92.3 FM. So the city law department says it will look into the case. Meantime, we are also awaiting comment from the Department of Environmental Protection, the group which controls the noise cameras. This should be real interesting. We'll keep you posted on how this comes out. Wins News Time 626 and now Bloomberg Money Watch on 1010 Wins. And here is Joan Doniger. A new era for NFL ownership. League owners have voted to allow private equity firms to buy a 10% stake in teams. Now before this, the league had kept its ownership among people rather than corporations. But this move is expected to bring in billions of fresh capital and boost the value of teams higher than they already are. Eagles owner Jeff Jeffrey Lurie is set to be considering selling part of his team, the L.A. Chargers, and the Bills apparently are looking for investors as well. So maybe the department store isn't finished after all. Macy's did better than predicted last quarter, and now Nordstrom is showing it did too. Its profits came in much better than expected. Women's clothing, beauty, and kids' items sold best last quarter. The Dow is now sitting at a closing record, and the S&P isn't too far from one. A lot will depend tomorrow on how NVIDIA did last quarter, showing investors if their AI bets are paying off. But today, the Dow's 10-point gain set that new record. The Nasdaq added 29, the S&P 9. Bloomberg Money Watch at 26 and 56 past every hour. I'm Joan Doniger for 1010 Wins on 92.3 FM. And now this message, RWJ Barnabas Health. Let's be healthy together. Visit rwjbh.org. When's news time? 627. A Kings Island Gold Pass is your ticket to unlimited visit this year and all through 2025. Make the park your own with access to two years of tricks and treats, Halloween haunt, and Winterfest, plus an expanded Soak City featuring the all-new dual racing water coaster River Racers coming in 2025, all for our lowest price of the season. Ten payments of $9 after initial payment plus applicable taxes and fees. Hurry, price goes up September 3rd. Get your Gold Pass at visitkingsisland.com. Baseball season is heating up. Odyssey has you covered the most entertaining coverage of your team. Stay locked in and in the know with the voices you trust. Stream your favorite shows for free the Odyssey app, odyssey.com, or on your smart speaker. Five years ago, Noah was driving passengers to the airport and stressing over tips. Now, he builds communication systems for massive aircraft carriers. Learn about careers in maritime manufacturing at careersbuilttolast.com. Pay for by the U.S. Department of the Navy in partnership with... Healy got back to his car and back to his other hero role, Dad. My kids aren't going to let me get away with not taking them to this. FDNY Deputy Chief George Healy, this week's City Worker, City Hero. Ben Member Act 1010 wins news. Labor is local. 731 has been responsible for some of the biggest and most celebrated infrastructure projects in New York City, like the rebuild of the World Trade Center and the new LaGuardia Airport. Local 731 provides qualified and competent laborers to fill the demand that the construction industry not only requires, but deserves. Its members and leadership have fought hard for wages and benefits that open the path to the middle class that every hardworking American deserves. Labor is local 731. Hey, fantasy football owners, I'm Matt Harmon. And what's cracking up, James Coe? Join us on Reception Perception as we dive deep into wide receivers, the position that will make or break your fantasy team. Follow and listen to Reception Perception on the free Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts. Feel the power. Together, let's drive at Parama Chevrolet. Lease a new 2024 Chevy Equinox EV LT for just $367 a month for 27 months. Buying? Enjoy 1.0% APR financing for well-qualified buyers. Visit Parama Chevrolet. Com today. Clear to partly cloudy is the word tonight. A bit sticky out, though. We'll drop to a low of 71, says AccuWeather. And then tomorrow, oh, yeah, get ready, folks. Hot and humid clouds and sunshine, a little mix. A strong thunderstorm or two around in the afternoon and evening on the way to a high of 93. And then on Friday, partly sunny, a little bit cooler with a high of 77 degrees. Have a great evening. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Good evening. I'm Larry Mullins. Wins news time at the Tone, 630. <laughs> Good evening, I'm Lori Madden. You may be hitting the road this week, one of the biggest travel weeks of the year, and an agency is out with its forecast. The Port Authority with a firm message for travelers this weekend. We're prepared. Port Authority Chief Operating Officer Jim Heitman, he says they're anticipating a record high number of travelers using their facilities this weekend. This volume 
represents a 3% increase over last year's Labor Day weekend, and it's going to continue to break records. Some good news for drivers, though. To mitigate traffic, Heitman says non-emergency construction is suspended from Thursday at 5 a.m. to Tuesday at 5 a.m. And to riders using path services. On Monday, we're using a modified uh, Saturday weekend schedule. So if you're staying local, path is the way to go. Amanda Alexander, 1010 wins on 92.3 FM at the Oculus. Winds News Time 631. Time for expanded traffic and transit. Here's Greg Rice. Now, tennis anyone or everyone? Because everybody seems to be heading through Queens tonight over to the National Tennis Center for U.S. Open night session number two. Grand Central's a mess either way. The Queensbound Whitestone Bridge, Southbound Whitestone, and Van Wick combination extremely slow the whole way. Getting you there and plenty of extra company on the Long Island Expressway in either direction. Brooklyn Queens Expressway in Queens Westbound before the cost. Shusco Bridge. You got the center lane knocked out of service. That is because of a breakdown and an absolute mess through the area. Here's what you need to know about the bridges and tunnels. City-bound side of the George, once you're there, it's not so bad. Looks like southbound on the Palisades before you get down towards Fort Lee. You're dealing with a crash, so Route 9 W might be the better option for you. The outbound side of the George, Cross Bronx, a westbound standstill from just before the Bronx River Parkway. Northbound Deegan and Harlem River Drive slow from well before the Yankee State Lincoln, it's about 20 minutes into the city. Outbound Lincoln, no more than 10. Outbound Holland, 10 to 15. Outbound covered roadway is not bad, but the inbound skyway is a mess, and the Newark Bay extension, much better in either direction. And if you're in a jam, call the Barnes Firm traffic tip line at 844-JAM-1010. That's 844-JAM-1010. Traffic is sponsored by the Barnes Firm. I'm Greg Rice, 1010 wins. Fantasy freaks and geeks. What's cracking? It's your boy, James Coe, back with my brand new project, the Sleeper King Football Podcast. Uh, look, I get it, okay? There's a lot of fantasy pods out there, but we're going to keep this one light, 15 to 20 minutes, four to five times a week, and man, we are going to pack it with all the info you need, season long, weekly projections, and of course, sleepers, sleepers, sleepers. Follow and listen to the Sleeper King Football Podcast on the free Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts. Now the AccuWeather 4-Day Forecast. Here is meteorologist Brian Thompson. Lori, still a mainly clear sky overhead right now. It's going to be a clear to partly cloudy night tonight, a low of 71 degrees. Now, today was a relatively comfortable day across the area, but that won't be the case tomorrow. It's going to be a hotter day, also more humid with clouds and sunshine. And much of the area is under a heat advisory for tomorrow afternoon and into the early evening hours. That includes the city, northern parts of Nassau County, the lower Hudson Valley, and much of North Jersey. We're looking for a high of 93 tomorrow. Active with the real field temperatures approaching 100 in the afternoon. We are going to have to watch for a heavy, gusty thunderstorm in spots uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon, actually still a strong gusty thunderstorm into tomorrow night. There's going to be a cold front dropping down from the north, kind of running into the, the heat and humidity, and that could touch off some thunderstorms. Low 69 tomorrow night. Once that front is through, though, some big changes coming for Thursday. It'll be much cooler, less humid as well, with a mostly cloudy sky. Could see a shower in a few spots, mainly south of the city, a high of 76. Partly sunny heading into Friday, high 77. Looking ahead to the holiday weekend, uh, we could have a thunderstorm or two later Saturday into Saturday night, but it should dry out, and eventually the humidity will drop heading into Sunday and especially into Labor Day. Right now, a sunny sky. We're at 80 degrees in Midtown and going down to 71. I'm AccuWeather Meteorologist Brian Thompson on New York's weather station. 1010 wins on 92.3 FM. Donald Trump says he's reached an agreement to take part in the debate with Vice President Kamala Harris on September 10th and that the rules will be the same that had previously been worked out. He did not specify which rules. That's what he posted to Truth Social. The Harris campaign has not commented. There had been disagreement over whether to mute the microphones. Meanwhile, the Democratic ticket has unveiled a new ad. A new campaign ad titled Every Day gives a glimpse of how the Harris Walls campaign intends to wrestle with the specter of inflation and housing affordability, top issues with voters. Prices are still too high. Harris says she also wants to go after corporate price gouging and expand the child tax credit. The ad is part of a blitz targeting battleground states and features clips from the vice president's speech in North Carolina, where she unveiled a series of proposals like building three million new homes and having the government provide assistance to first-time home buyers. Former President Donald Trump has said Harris can't pay for her housing agenda and suggests cracking down on illegal immigration would somehow help Jennifer King, Washington. And Donald Trump says he plans to name Robert F. Kennedy Jr. and former Democratic Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard as honorary co-chairs 
of a presidential transition team. Wins News Time 635. Flags in New Jersey were flying at half staff today in honor of late Congressman Bill Pascrell. Visitation will be held until 8 o'clock tonight at St. John the Baptist Cathedral in Patterson. Funeral services are tomorrow. The 14-term Democrat died last week at the age of 87. The husband of one of the Real Housewives is convicted in a massive fraud. Prosecutors say while Tom Girardi was making headlines winning big settlements, he was actually siphoning millions of dollars from his clients to fund his lavish lifestyle of private jets, golf club memberships, and the career of his now estranged wife, Erica Jane, who's on the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Prosecutors pinned him to stealing money from four clients, but they believe there were many more. Girardi, now 85 years old and suffering from dementia, could spend the rest of his